Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I've got a treat for you and for myself. I just got the ALF Racer Edition from FlexRC. So let's start by unboxing all the items that I got in the package. So this is everything I've got inside. On the left bag I got one set of Rotorix propellers. This is, these are sold separately spacers and nuts and the frame itself on the right bag I got these propellers that are part of the kit these are also 3 inch these are dull prop props 4 F20 Tiger motors they support up to 4S so this is gonna be a little 118 millimeters beast and these are for my first T motors so I'm really excited to use them IPX to R to SMA antenna extender, two XT30 connectors. I'm not yet sure if I'm gonna use them, but we'll see. The Cicada 4 in 1 20 ampere ESC controller and the Siren FPV flight controller. It has a built in VTX, OSD, and a black box. By the way, in this build, I'm going to use the Runcam Swift Mini camera and I will also use the mini FR Sky LR1000 receiver. These two items are not part of the kit and you will have to buy them separately either on FlexRC or you can supply your own or buy it somewhere else. So let's get into work and start building this quadcopter. So I finished the build, as you can see. I'm quite happy with the result. And the only mistake I did, I think, is instead of connecting the TX connector here, the TX2, I used the TX3 on the telemetry, so you can't use the same UART, so you have to use different UART uh, connection. So I would have to disassemble this pin and connect it to the boot pad over here uh, right now it's not that urgent because I don't fly I'm not going to fly it too far so telemetry is not that of an issue for me especially because we have the beta flight OSD which I'm going to show you in a second let's quickly wait up so it weighs 205 grams without the battery and if we go into a battery, I'm going to use two batteries in our in my test flight. So it's going to be 317 grams with the Dynogy 1000 milliampere hour battery. And if I'm going to use the Turnogy 500 milliampere battery, it's going to weigh 260 grams. By the way, I almost forgot to connect the buzzer, which is a very important feature in my opinion. And I do recommend you to insert the battery strap before you start build, assembling everything because it's just going to be much, much easier for you than just struggle with it after it has been assembled. I also covered the antenna connectors with this special glue 
it uh, becomes like a silicon after it gets dries. This is the glue I used. It comes in a big tube, it costs a couple of dollars and it should last you for a long time. The reason that I recommend to use this kind of glue because if, for example, this IPX connector is going to get the attached, it's going to ruin the transmitter and you don't want it to happen. And I also put it in the antenna of the receiver because it can also damage it if it's not going to be connected. Okay, so you can see when we plug the battery, we get the beta flight. This is how to get the menu. You can change the, also you can change the frequency and the strength inside the menu. You can see here the flight mode, uptime, flight time, and on top you can see the voltage. Right now here is cropped because it's not on the right aspect ratio, but when I use it on my Fetcher goggles, it worked without any problem. Having the Betaflight OSD is a great feature and you can configure everything inside Betaflight. I will put the link to the website of Serena FreeV. I think they did a great job in explaining how everything works and it's actually pretty simple. So the only thing left for us to do is to take it for a test flight. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.